me, but I ain't been feeling it lately. You say you're lucky to be glad, but can't keep me from looking so crazy. Come in at six in the morning. Where you been? Where you been? Who is that texting your phone? Just a friend, just a friend. Welcome back to my channel. Mariah Defeated here was good. Um, today I did a full face tutorial like you see my foundation you see you don't see my brows no no you don't see that but you know you pretty much see everything um a, a tidbit of everything um it's just easier for me honestly to record faster if i just do my foundation off camera and like nothing in my routine really changes unless it's like the foundation and like i only go between like two concealers and right now honestly i've only been using this one concealer but like for the most part, I set my face the same way, contour it the same way, like I just switch out products. It's just the same kind of routine, if that makes sense. So um, today, I showed you guys me using the Maybelline um, Super Stay Foundation. This is probably my second foundation, my second favorite foundation, because the Huda Beauty is like number one. It just went to the top of everything else. And then I just feel like the Maybelline Super Stay, it 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 like it looks the same way and um the only thing is Huda Beauty hits it for me in terms of perfect color match great coverage um great feeling um and like wear throughout the day the only thing that's a little bit off about the Maybelline other than like everything else is just li literally the color because I got the shade 356 and it is darker than what I am. I'm 340 in the Maybelline Fit Me line. So like 340 to 356 is a little bit of a jump and it's kind of reddish but I make it work. I, I, I try to make it work. That foundation will definitely match me better in the summertime if I catch a tan. Um, but yeah. I like that foundation. Maybelline, you just need to come out with 340. Thanks. Extend the range a little bit more. Thanks. Thank you. Um, yeah. If you would like to see how I did this teal halo slash glitter liner, I, I don't know. I added glitter at the end. Honestly, I didn't show you guys that part. I mixed two glitters from Violet Voss and Bulk Glitters or Super Glitter, sorry. Mixed two teal glitters and then yeah just applied it a little bit um i did it last minute so this is a long intro but if you would like to see how i did this look then you know the drill please continue to keep on watching do not forget to rate comment and subscribe if you are new to my channel and uh i'll see you guys in the next one yeah bye you guys Starting off with freshly washed skin, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize. I'm using my Nivea moisturizer. This is the moisturizer I always use, you guys. Then I'm taking my Becca Ever Matte and Makeup Forever. I'm going back to my OG primers because I want to finish these up. I'm going to mix those two together and prime my skin. Then I'm going to color correct with the LA Girl Orange Corrector. For my foundation of choice today, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay in the shade 356 Warm Coconut. I love this foundation. As I said in the video earlier, I just wish they had the right shade for me because as you guys can see it is a little bit reddish but it's okay we finesse it after I apply the foundation I'm going to go in with my cover FX concealer in medium deep and then apply that in the center of my face my forehead underneath my eyes down my nose cupid's bowl and chin and um it's going to act as my concealer and my highlighter basically I don't have a concealer than a highlighter I just have one concealer that's just excessively light that just basically works for both um i set my face with my sacha buttercup powder to bake and then i buff it out with my sephora micro smooth powder in the shade 56 to contour my skin i'm using the sleek superior coverage powder in 103 tan and then i go ahead and bronze with um my sleek kit I add blush and for my highlighter I'm using max beaming blush and then to top it off and to get it extra booming and beaming I use Fenty Beauty's trophy wife highlighter I do my brows off camera and then we go and start in with the eyes of course you guys I'm going to prime my lids with the best primer on the planet which is the P Louise base and I'm gonna use that with like a buffer brush to pat it into my lids then we're gonna go in with the first color which is stethno by star crushed minerals i love their eyeshadows they're super cheap 
so we're gonna go in with that green color and that's gonna be my transitional color we're gonna use windshield wiper motions once I am satisfied with the intensity of the color I go ahead and buff it out with a big big fluffy brush and my face powder then we go in with the second color which is called deep forest again it is from star crush minerals I place that on the outer and inner corner of my eyes because I am going for a halo look then to further uh, intensify and make it more grungy I take the black from the Huda Beauty's Smoky Obsessions palette and I layer that on top and I go back and forth in blending until I am satisfied Once I'm satisfied with that blend, I'm going to go ahead and um, carve out the center of my halo eye. This is a little interesting because I have like tissue in my nose. I had a cold and I was trying to slay you guys. So if you guys see the tissue in my nose, don't be alarmed. Um, I'm going to be taking two pigments from Inglot and they're in the numbers 117 and 84 and I'm just going to pat that all over the center of my lid. I do my lashes and my liner off camera. And um, for my lips, I'm going to use Max Chestnut Lip Pencil, Yash Lipstick, and Luster, um, Instant Gold Luster Glass. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, loves. Okay. How would you like it if I do the things you do? What? Put you on some kind of stuff and entertain it through? What? How would you like it if I do the things you do? What? Put you on do not disturb and Hey girl, bring it back, 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 back,